Good morning. It's November 5th. I came into the vendor room as soon as it opened uh, to hang out with these guys. What is the name of your... We're County Argyle. Say it again. County Argyle. All right. County Argyle. Uh, and they have uh, a lot of beautiful things, a lot of antiques um, and things that they cast. Uh, I am particularly fond of the locks, and there are several door handles. But if we're honest, I am most fond of this uh, that I just bought. Uh, it's a beautiful black opal ring, and uh, I'm so excited about it. I'm not sad. And also you have to see, see how the light hits it. It's beautiful. So, uh, you guys are Orlando based, but you travel everywhere, right? We travel all over the southeast, but we do have our shop in Audubon Park in Orlando. Awesome. So I will put a link uh, down there so you should check them out. I am now at Milton's Emporium, uh, link in the down bar. They do a lot of leather work here. Uh, we have Quidditch goggles and plague masks, but for me the most interesting thing is tea party holsters, <laughs> I guess. I don't necessarily know what to call them. Uh, it's going to be uncivilized to be caught without your tea set anywhere in the world. Yes. Uh, it comes with a cup, a saucer, your uh, tea ball, a little spoon, and a little container for, I assume, sugar for your tea itself, I guess. Uh, they also do a lot of other leather working holsters. I'm partial to the scroll case uh, and potions. And I assume you're Milton? I'm Mike. I live in oh. Milton. Oh, you uh, live in Milton. Yes. I see. All right, so Mike is in charge of this emporium. And do you create all of these I, things? I do the leather work, yes. Awesome. I do most of the leather work. And my daughter, Catherine, also does some leather work, too. Awesome. She's my awesome. apprentice. <laughs> nice. And what is your favorite thing to make? My favorite thing is a teacup holster. Really? Yes. Oh, look at that. We've made them like this for years and then we added the extra accoutrements just this year and that's made them much more popular now. Yeah. Everyone loves having this tea infuser and the spoon and the bottle in there. That's so. awesome. All right. So like I said, if you want to check them out, there is a link down below uh, and they do sell online. I asked. I found another booth uh, where we just purchased grab bags, which we're going to film in a second, but I'm going to let uh, the purveyor introduce herself. I'm Becca Didoff from the Evergreen Borough. We make cool handmade geekery. Yeah, so she's got little plushies, really awesome uh, cross stitching, and comic book uh, necklaces and card cases and compacts. Uh, we were drawn here because she has not one, not two, but three uh, different Hawkeyes here on this oh. wall, and Hawkeye is Mary's favorite. Yeah, one, two, three. Uh, so we decided to grab a bag. Wow. We decided <laughs> to grab a crab bag, and we're going to see what happens. There you go, Ginger. I'm handing this over to you. All right, Mary. Here we go. All right. I've got... Hey, I got a Harley Quinn. I know where Ooh. that's going. Yeah, I know, right? Give me your first one. Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Ooh. I got a uh, Robin. Nice. Green Lamb. And a Catwoman. Ooh. A very strange nice. looking Catwoman, too. Like, I don't think I've ever seen this version of Catwoman before. She looks like she belongs in the Jetsons. <laughs> All right, so that's awesome. Uh, Amanda has got herself a snake now. She's having almost as much fun as I had. Good con, guys? Yes. Yeah? Good con? Great con. Good con? Very good con. Good con? Yes. <laughs> uh, we have had a great time. Uh, met a lot of really interesting people and it's been really cool. And I'm sad to see Conjuration go, but we've been officially, but basically unofficially, been invited back next year. So, but like yeah. I'll have to wait for like an actual email contract to be like, yeah, but yay, woo! Uh, and now we're gonna get back on the road. It's gonna be great. We are on the road and have made our first stop. We're going to McDonald's for food because I, I actually am not sure why. So I looked at the nearest McDonald's. There's McDonald's, and it's connected to a gas station. What I like about this McDonald's is that even though it's connected to a gas station, it still has a drive-thru. 
What a what a classy joint. We're gonna get some food. We had an adventure. Um, yeah, <laughs> an interactive experience. So we went to McDonald's for some interactive uh, theater. Yeah. It it very well soon could have been a death day murder mystery. Let's <laughs> oh, oh, you are not who wrong. Killed the manager. <laughs> So things are just not going well in this McDonald's. <laughs> like just not going so well. So Brittany at the drive-thru is really handling her job well. And I don't know if anyone at the drive-thru has had unsatisfactory experiences, but I like to think that everyone in the drive-thru is happily served by Brittany. Yeah. However, the rest of us not so much. However, for us, uh this was a unique 30 minute uh, a 30 minute stressful. debacle. Uh no one was manning the register, so the manager came out to do it and then got really mad that no one was manning the register. And then they were like, incapable of taking orders. And then, I don't know, there are like five people on that line in the back, but they actually can't make any food. Like, <laughs> and they kept making the wrong food. Yes. They made sandwiches that no one ordered yes. four times <laughs> while we were waiting for your snack wraps. Yeah, and it was we were just waiting for my snack wraps to appear, and they were making other kimchi. Also, yeah. at one point, they burnt the fries, and the woman who burnt them dumped them into the fryer and then went, <laughs> and then had to scoop them into the trash. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, it was maybe not not the wellness place, and the manager was like pissed. Yeah, she was. <laughs> she was, she she was so right upset. To yeah, no, she definitely had every right to be. It was it was an she interesting was it so personally, situation. And she was like commiserating with the customers, like, yeah, I know, I've been waiting forever too. <laughs> <laughs> she did give me three apple pies though for my trouble. <laughs> I thought they only had two. Uh, you know what? He didn't open the container. So if you open it, there were like six of them on the like oh my top God. shelf. <laughs> yep. So, uh, so Mallory's fries, too hot to eat. Jay's fries, <laughs> just right. Our fries, room temperature. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and now we're going to get back on the road and we will maybe get home. Small update on the McDonald's situation since I haven't updated you. Uh, yeah, we... Uh, First off, we'd love to Yelp review of that terrible McDonald's, but also, and this is the most important thing, my grilled chicken snap rack had crispy chicken, but uh, slightly more important than that, Megan's only egg and cheese biscuit had a chicken nugget in it. Well, it's two in the morning and we're back, I'm back in my house and so that'll be it. I'll see you tomorrow.